Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Abishai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Dumb honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers, to my fellow Akim that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Now more so than ever, to the confusion of face, Akim joined unto our ranks, the hopefully elect, the Akwaf that are listening and learning. Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm coming at you with another lesson in truth. And I think I'm going to call this lesson more shame upon their glory. Um, as you can see on the title, it says opioid takedown 60 charge with the legally prescribing drug and sting. Uh, this is from CBS News. And personally, I wouldn't want to go to this guy as my doctor, you know, with all them tattoos. And it's, it's clear that he's into some strange philosophies and other things. But, uh, you know, as, as one of the brothers uh, said, you know, these doctors make six figures and they still want more, you know. They still want more and they don't, they don't care about uh, being drug dealers. And we're constantly telling you that the, the drug administration are nothing but legal drug dealers. All right. The, uh, and when you look at the amount of drugs that's being sold, a lot of the street drugs have the same elements in it that the, the, the legal drugs do. So that's what the pro that's what the problem comes. Esau fought wars to get to to get these fields, these poppy fields, um, which which is the main ingredient that's used in opioids and in a lot of uh, um, psychosis medicines and things of that nature, and yet it destroys the people. Why? Because Esau is 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 a liar and he's a forger of lies lies and he uh matter of fact let's get that. This is uh Job. The 13th chapter in the fourth verse, and it reads, But ye are forgers of lies, ye are all physicians of no value. No value whatsoever, man. All right, because the only thing that Esau really is, he's a death dealer, and he deals in death. All right, he, he deals in death. All right, the things that he prescribes. I mean, even, even the uh. Uh, um, not only the medicine, but the food, you know, the video just came out What it's talking about the connection between 5G and the, uh, and the chemtrails and how the two are working together. And those chemtrails have metal particles in them that are getting into our bodies and staying in them. And you're wondering why people are so sick because you have four entities in your body just called it bodies that are, that are causing different types of viruses and cancers and, and 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 joint and high blood pressure and it's affecting people in all kind of ways man all right just so they could track you with 5g because now the now it gives your body uh it's like when you well, if you remember the movie the predator and how he would go to uh the, this this the predator would go to his uh his heat vision so when he couldn't see you, he switched over to heat vision and follow your heat signature. Well, all these particles and things that are being sprayed, these things get into your body, and then the 5G uh, sees your heat signature, so to speak. You know, I don't know all the scientific terms, all the lies, but that's basically what it's doing. At the same time, it's, it's really helping to speed up the destruction of the people, man. See, and I truly believe that all this drug stuff, especially being handed out by government officials and, and doctors and, and medical people who sworn oaths, this is all part of the depopulation, man. You know, this is that the order of kale. Because on the other hand, then they have law officials going around arresting people and putting people in jail. And how, hey, shame is upon your glory, man. This is shameful. To Esau Edom, the so-called white man. This is shameful to the U.S., man. And all this is happening on Donald Donald Trump's watch. So this is a hey, so much for making America greater. Again, all you're doing is making America high again. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, Timothy. the book of uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 20. 
O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoid profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science, falsely so-called. And Esau science is false, man. His medical science is false. And then he just create lies to sell drugs or to make money. Just like you had this false report come out about the, uh, the hair on a man's beard. It has more germs on it than the hair on a dog. Wait a minute. Are these the same people that said that a, a, a dog's bite is cleaner than a human bite? I remember specifically hearing that. And they had science to back that up. I even had one of my extremely former wealthy clients uh, uh, say that. Because she saw me make a face when she was kissing a dog in the mouth. And her, her dog was licking all on her on her mouth. And I kind of, you know, like made that ew face. And she was like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. You know, a dog's mouth is cleaner than, than, a, uh, than a human's mouth. And, you know, and I just like, yeah, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Next set. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, man. So they're trying to say... <laughs> That the hair on your beard, then that's no difference from the hair on your head. That's what you that's what you take baths and wash yourself with. Alright? And, and then they're using science, falsely so-called, to back this up. Or so at least so they're saying it. They haven't they because they never, you know, Esau will say something and never show you the research or the proof. They'll just say, Well, scientists say, and scientists are liars. Doctor, not a very word doctor means means to falsify. Like this guy. This is the, the Rock Doc, the TV show. That's who this guy is, the Rock Doc. And yeah, he's the Rock Doc, all right? He's selling rocks. <laughs> Opioid rocks. You know, I don't know if they call him that because he's a rocker. Well, I don't know what the deal is. I've never watched the show. But this is the Rock Doc. You know, he does like a damn heavy band, uh, metal band member <laughs> that he plays in after he uh, leaves the doctor's office. You know? Let's go back to Timothy. This is uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 16. But shame, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they which increase unto more ungodliness. So, you know, this science is also a, a, a profane babbling, man. Because a lot of these, I would say probably about 90 plus percent of this of, of of this science is not backed up by facts it's backed up by by theories and theories are guesses a theory isn't a fact the word science means to know and they they never know the answers they just give you roundabout things roundabout is an exact is not an exact science you can't roundabout uh, uh fix a car you can't roundabout do a surgery you have to be precise you can't round about give an equation to give a, a specific answer or a measurement if you're going to put something up or put something on a, on a wall or on a floor. You have to have exacts. That's what science is, to know. Esau is constantly in this society trying to make one plus one equal three. And get mad at you when you question it and point out the fact that his math is off. Okay? Let's go back and uh and play a few minutes of this video. All right. I like to thank Dinah Israel for this story. And of course, you know it's it's it's, it's my sister, my girl, uh, Lisa Cabrera, laying a smackdown on these Edomites, man. Cause, she, Cause they, that a, that is what she does, and she does it well. Kudos to you, Lisa. Right? Opioids have had such a bad impact on America. You know, people are dying in large numbers around the country on a regular basis. The mainstream media has done everything over the past 20 years to keep this whole thing suppressed, but it has not worked. Many people have knowledge of this thing or they are directly impacted by this plague. They may have several family members that have died or know people directly or indirectly that have also succumbed to opioids in this country. It is such a problem that they literally has 
let this whole thing spiral out of control. You know, they've had the opioid commission that Trump has set up, and we, we don't really hear too much of nothing coming out of the opioid commission. You know, we heard things around the time when he first set it up, you know, but we have heard from people like Kennedy that said it was a do nothing committee. Nothing was getting done. We sure don't hear anything, that's for sure. And Chris Christie pretty much said the same thing. You know, every time they would give Trump uh, recommendations, he would just blow them off. And ever since this has been declared a public health um, emergency and not a national emergency, it's not changing anything. Nothing is changing. This thing is going stronger than ever across the country. And the, morgue are, the morgues are running out of space and people are dying like flies from the fentanyl. They can't even keep that out of the country. But then again, China's not helping in the matter at all. So this article came out from CBS News, April 17th, 2019. There was a major opioid bus across U.S. states. It was about seven states involved. 60 charge, 32 million pills. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not going to change anything. You busted a few more people. Even the police admitted in, you know, articles that I read in the past and did videos on, as soon as they take down one dealer, another one crops up in less than 24 hours. That's why they can't even put a dent in this whole thing. There are so many people not working, they're willing to take the chance to sell drugs. Well, let's go ahead and get into this article. All right, so dozens charge in major opioid bus across the US. I'm gonna play the video. Justice Department today announced the largest prescription opioid bust ever. 60 suspects, including doctors, pharmacists, and other health care providers, were arrested in seven states after allegedly prescribing 32 million pills. Meg Oliver has more on this. Just after sunrise in Cookville, Tennessee, federal, state, and local agents prepare for the largest opioid takedown of medical providers in the country. Are you saving some of these small communities today? We're saving lives. Special Agent Derek Jackson is a lead investigator for the Appalachian region. What kind of message are you sending to medical providers today? If you overprescribe, if you steal from a taxpayer, you're going to go to jail. Today's operation stretched across seven states among the hardest hit in the opioid crisis. In all, they indicted 60 individuals, including doctors, nurses, and pharmacists, who collectively prescribed more than 32 million pills. Our focus was heavily on preventive medicine. For a Tennessee family nurse practitioner known as the Rock Doc, who piloted a reality TV show about his clinic, allegedly prescribed dangerous combinations of opioids in exchange for sexual favors. Wow. Shame is truly upon that glory, man. And... It's even worse because I, I I know for a fact in Tennessee that the majority of these people who are being busted are Edomites. And the fact that that, you know, that they are. Uh, that they sent a Jake, a so-called Negro. Still from the tax. All right. To to enforce the hand of the law to lock up and put in jail. These Edomites in their own country, in their own kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Shame is upon your glory. All right. This is Habakkuk 2 and 16. Thou art filled with shameful glory. Drink thou also. And I know this is a tough cup to drink. But it's not going to be as near as bad as that cup of slavery, that wrath that you have to drink. All right. Because this is just the beginning. 
Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be upon your glory. And that's why they want to shut us up, man. Especially the Hebrew Israelites. All right? Especially. Why? Because <laughs> we're chronicling and advertising to the world the truth about Esau, Edom. And they do not like that. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Abashai, Bahashim Wakak Wadash, Wa Ababa Ball.